with all that's going on today, the quarantine, this pandemic, you know, I haven't smoked, I quit smoking years ago, but today I started back this morning. I started smoking. I have decided to smoke a side of ribs. So, there's nothing new. Everybody's seen dressed before and seasoned. So I'm going to put a little bit of mustard on it for a binder. And we're going to rub it all over. Now this is what's happening on Mother's Day. Doing this for my wife. For Mother's Day. And we're going to try to probably bake a pie in a little while. Actually, we're going to smoke this pie. Now this seasoning I'm using, I'm gonna, I don't want a whole lot of it, is competition blend. I think I need to open up the other heavy area. Okay, let's see here. Let's get a little, yeah. Now I think this will really make these taste really great. And these ends over here are trimmings. They're going to be in a place of their own. Now, now, now I'm going to add a little bit of this. I'll tell you what. Now let's flip it over. binder on it. It don't take a whole lot. Just something to make it stick. I've seen people put a half a jar on it. it don't give it any more flavor. It just makes it stick. Now we're going to put some of this on this side. This competition blend smoke infusion is what they said it is. We don't 
like to waste anything. And uh, I'm just going to make a little pan out of this. To kind of set this and smoke and cook in. These will turn out great. I've done it like this before. And these trimmings, meat, we're going to eat them. We'll just take that, there, and set it in there on the top shelf. And I hope that smoker ain't out talking me. If it is, I'm truly sorry. But I'm going to set these in there just like that. And what I'll do is pull the split off here. And these here and there. temperature a little bit, checking for doneness, seeing how easy that probe will go in, and I think they'll need to go about another 45 minutes. Okay, it's going to be about 45 minutes before the ribs are ready. I'm going to peel and slice these apples up and get all the ingredients ready to make our smoked apple cranberry pie. Here we have our Granny Smith apples, our dried cranberries, and our spices, which consist of uh, sugar, brown sugar, cinnamon, flour, kosher salt, nutmeg, and you'll need some lemon juice too. I'll leave a link below where you can get this recipe and watch his video on how easy it is to make this pie. We've mixed all the ingredients together. Now we're going to get the pie pan ready. Well. Ours is not a pie pan, it's a square glass baking dish. We don't have a pie pan. And I think we're ready to take them ribs off. We're going to check them. And we'll get back to the pie in a moment. Okay, we're going to check these for tenderness. Oh, yeah. these are ready to come off. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Yeah, they're pulling back. smoked these ribs at 250 degrees and it took approximately 3 hours and 45 minutes. Now we're going to kick it up to 350 degrees and we're going to bake a pie. Okay, while our ribs are resting and the smoker's coming up to 350 degrees, we're going to get this pie all ready to put in the smoker and it'll take 45 minutes to an hour. Now that we've got all the ingredients in, we're going to cover it with our pie crust.
tuck in the edges all the way around. It don't matter what it looks like, it's all gonna taste really good. Now we'll poke some holes in it so it can let out the steam while it's baking. Now we're going to take the bowl that we mixed all of our ingredients in and we're going to take the juices and brush them on top of the pie. And now the pie is ready for the smoker. really turned out juicy. Man, they were tender. Smoke rain. They tasted really good. And to top off this meal will be that smoked apple cranberry pie. Smoked ribs, smoked apple cranberry pie. Can't get any better. And this was the meal I cooked for my wife on Mother's Day. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want, leave a comment. Thanks for watching.